Hey guys, so today I decided to do this makeup look. Um, I got a lot of requests to do this on my Snapchat and my Instagram because I posted some pictures and videos of this look. A lot of you asked to do it, some asked for the bun, some asked for the makeup look. But I was like, let's just do it all together, you know? If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Yeah, let's just get into the video. So, we're gonna start off with, you know, our hair. Um, some type of conditioner, leave-in conditioner, anything that you know that smooths your hair out very nicely. I use this one. This is just... I use this for everything. I just love this product. Get you some Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioning. A rat tail comb, which has like the little pointy part. And then we're going to need a flat, like the hard brush. I'm not sure how you call it, but this is... I call this like the hard brush because it's like, you know, smooths out your hair. And lots and lots of bobby pins. If you don't have bobby pins, just don't even try this look because this is all we need for this look. <laughs> Take off. Whoa, we're not taking off our hair. We're going to part our hair down the middle. There we go. Okay, so I'm back and our hair is now parted down the middle and it is wet. I recently lost my spray bottle, so, you know, it would be easier to just use a spray bottle, but I had to go to the bathroom with my hair. Anyways, I wet my hair mostly on the top parts over here just around the scalp area basically I didn't wet then I take some conditioner leave-in conditioner any product you want to use smooth out your hair okay we apply the product into our hair our hair feels a little soft right now gonna take the brush and just basically flatten it down first okay we now have it smoothed back to make sure everything is smooth you're going to grab it right here, almost at the back end of your hair. And just put in a regular ponytail. And make it as tight as you can, like the ponytail. You're going to do the same thing to the side. The only reason why we're waiting for the other side is to make sure that they're even. And if not, we would have to move this bun. Now that we look like a little girl with two pigtails on her hair, literally wrap it around your hair. Got a little bun. Start putting pins in almost everywhere just to secure it, you know, so it's not coming out. Because this, we're not tying another band around, we're just bobby pinning it down. You see, it's almost already done. So just keep bobby pinning it until it is done. The two buns are now in. They're gonna look better once we like actually do the edges, but the edges are gonna be done once we finish the makeup look. So first thing we're gonna do is prime our face. I'm going to use the Master Prime by Face Studio Primer Base, Blur and Smooth. So I'm gonna use that. Or does a good job at erasing all my pores. I already have an eyebrow machine, so I'm just gonna speed through this basically. I'm not gonna talk through it. I'll link my eyebrow tutorial down in the description box so you guys can go check it out. <laughs> take the LA Pro Conceal Pure Beige and I'm just using this to like prep my eyes for the eyeshadow. Uh, all these bright pinks that we're putting on our eyelids today you know can show up a little more. Take the airspun powder. This is just a translucent powder. I take the cap of the powder, dip it in and then use it. We don't want to bake our eyelids. So for the eyelids I'm going to be using only one palette. So the palette I'm going to be using is this Take Me to Brazil Beach Cosmetics palette. For the transition, I'm going to start off with this orange shade that's right here. Transition shade, just pat that on the brush, tap it off because these colors are really pigmented. You don't want to put too much. So we're just going to start it off right here. I got a lot of requests to do this makeup look. You know, a lot of people wanted to see it, and I told some people that I would do it for them. So I thought I would just 
go ahead and do it and then maybe along the way I'll start learning more stuff but yeah I know how to do like looks like this like these types of looks don't intimidate me at all because I just love I love playing with colors I feel like I don't know I feel like colorful makeup looks are easier to do than the average looks um oh I forgot to tell you what color I was using I got so caught up in I'm using this another this next red shade with this brush it's a smaller, more dense brush, and I'm just using this red shade, and I just basically put it um, closer to the crease and a little bit over the orange. We're gonna be using. Okay, it's a little dirty. You can see that. It's mad skinny. Lighter concealer. This is the light ivory, so it's more closer to it. This is what I would normally use to highlight and stuff like that, but your girl got a tan. It's now the summertime. Oh. Let's cut this crease. We're not going to be doing a full on cut crease. We're just going to be cutting it like to the middle, like right here. <laughs> so since my lids are a little hooded, I have to make sure to go over my where my actual crease is because if not, you just won't be able to see anything. I'll be taking the pinkest shade. I'm going to use my thumb first. Or any finger, whatever. To really pack this on and put it on our lids. Yeah. Basically. Take a flat padding, like, packing brush. And just go ham in the pink. Go ham in the pink. And put this in the places. Let's blend it in with the rest. So what I'm going to do to blend in the lid color with the transition colors is I'm going to take some of the red that we use and a smidge bit of the pink like that 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 dust off little going right here make sure i put it in right here in this little ball like the outer corner of my eyeball i make sure to put it right there and then i blend it inwards the face i'm going to be mixing two different foundations because as i said it's the summertime your girl got a tan i'm not sure what my skin tone is at this moment so I'm going to be using the Matte and Poreless 340 and the Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal in Soft Sable 111 I'm just going to go over with this okay so now we're going to take the Beauty Blender and blend this out <laughs> Using the same thing that I used for my eyebrows, LA Pro Conceal in Pure Beige. This is like the only concealer that I ever really, really use like that. I'm going to be cutting the makeup look, high makeup look, so I'm just going to be dragging a little tiny line across on our nose. Smidge bit on our forehead, a little bit right here, and some right there. You guys always have to remember to like switch out your products when you tan because even if you don't see it other people are gonna see it and be like girl you ashy as hell and you don't want to look ashy it's a darker concealer this is the la pro girl concealer of course do you expect anything else from me these concealers are my favorite i was not lying when i said these are like my like i use these religiously like, this is in the color beautiful bronze I like using the same beauty blender for my foundation and everything because I feel like it makes it all blend out really well. So my face, I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. This right here. Love of my life. So I obviously go ham with this and I put this underneath. Just on the sides of my mouth. Because I'll be getting smile lines. Oh, before doing that, I already have some powder on this brush. And I'm just going to pat over the contour just to set it. So it doesn't move under the bronzer that we're going to put over. The multitask brush from Real Techniques. And the BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. This color right here. <laughs> Techniques brush. This is the dual fiber contour brush and it's smaller and it's more dense. The darkest color in this palette, which is this color right here, to just deepen, like go really, really in the insides of my cheekbones just to deepen it up. And my nose, 
as well down here and a little underneath my you know I'm taking this just big fluffy brush and wiping off the powder that we put on earlier now to cut my contour I'm going to be using the same Sasha Buttercup and this sponge Twisting it off right away. Big Real Techniques brush. This is a dual fiber face brush. We'll mix these two. And we're just going over this to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Blush, I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. palette. This is the blush palette that I've been using as my mirror this whole time. I'm just taking almost all of them except for the orange one. And putting that on. Same brush that we use to pack the song. Basically taking the colors that we use in our eyelids and dragging it below. So my battery died. So I just all I did was put on my eyelashes and just white eyeliner on my waterline. While wild and radiant baked illuminating and bronzing palette, and I'm taking this. Tiny fan brush. I see a lot of people using the big fan brushes, but I like using the tiny ones. So my cheekbones are right here on the ends of my nose. A little bit on the top of my nose right here. Cupid's bow. Our face with the dewy finish. Next, we're using the lip pencil in the color Cocoa. So anything that's like a brownish lip liner. in Turkish rose. I love how they smell. I'm taking the NYX Pump It Lip Plumper in 6. Oh, in Kim. This So this is the final look. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, like, comment, you know, the drill already. And everything will be listed in my description box to my social media, the products, everything you guys would like to know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in my next video.